best way to enjoy sports is to participate. That's the guiding spirit of Grinnell's athletic program, centered at Darby Gymnasium. Gift of beloved Fred Darby and headquarters for present and future sports pioneers. Meet Grinnell's physical on Truesdale to tell you more about Grinnell's intramural program. Here at Grinnell, our physical education and athletic program are designed to reach as many students as possible. Every man and every woman participates in some recreational and sports activity every year. Our program is designed to reach as many students as possible. More sports for more students is our aim rather than more st uh, sports for the same student. We believe that a strong intramural program is the best means to strong varsity teams. We look on our intramurals as the place where we discover and develop varsity material. Grinnell's physical fitness program includes both theory for coaches and teachers and a strong service program for the vast majority of students. Physical and medical examinations determine aptitudes and deficiencies of the student, so that counsel as to his best sports and corrective remedies for his defects can be followed during the college course. Posture irregularities are closely noted as the student walks to and from a given point. Foot troubles are specially studied. Much can be deduced by the way feet are laid down during the walk. Even spine and torso faults are reflected in the footstep. The ankle bone is a good indicator of arch defects. General sports ability and aptitude is tested in several ways. The shot foot tests dynamic ability, the translation of strength into performance, the coordination of muscular resources. The broad jump is another measure of the student's ability to handle his weight. A third test of dynamic or explosive power is the jump up. The difference between natural reach and height attained in jumping gives a standard of dynamic ability. The quarter mile is one of the best measures of condition, often denoting the runner's athletic ability for endurance sports, as differentiated from skill sports. The chinning test often reveals that Americans develop leg and back strength more than arm muscularity. And some of the most outstanding athletes are sometimes lacking in this branch of athletic efficiency. Physical conditioning classes are high on the roster of activities for students. Regular drill and exercise are devoted to building stamina, energy, endurance, and general athletic proficiency. Intercollegiate and intramural games are important to provide competitive zest and stimulation, fun sports that are a constant source of pleasure. But calisthenics provide the other half of the regular training routine that makes sound bodies for all. Calisthenics develops healthful traits and good living habits that remain long after college days are over. Grinnell features a strong intramural house competition for both men and women, with plaques and trophies to champions being the most prized possessions of the athletic year. Softball, basketball, swimming, tennis, and track, these are only a few of the annual intramural events. Women's athletics are under control of the Women's Athletic Association. Here, too, physical condition is deemed of paramount and primary importance. Condition is the foundation for a many-sided intramural program and for interscholastic contests with women from other colleges. There's nothing like calisthenics to bring out that natural red to the cheeks or a little exercise to keep the face and figure in trim for the prom. There are many phases to the women's athletic program. Archery is one of them. Archery is an optional class that's always popular, leap year or not. There are literally scores of recreational activities offered at Grinnell. Track, rifle teams, hockey teams, volleyball and squash. Only a few of the many in the curriculum that can be enjoyed both in college and for years to follow. Latoria Tate, this. One of the routines in the class of rhythmics where modern dancing and exercise promote good posture, grace and rhythm of motion. Aesthetic attributes that are lasting helps for any form of sport or activity.
advanced classes in the modern dance are open to both men and women. Some of the graduates have achieved Broadway success in this special field. All appreciate, enjoy, and are helped by its teaching and conditioning. For members of the horsey set, riding instruction is offered at the college stables. The campus and surrounding vicinity abound in miles of interesting bridle paths. Full-time riding masters and year-round stables are maintained for one of the most popular of physical education subjects. And when some of these damsels go for a ride in the forest, well, boys, it's no time to have horse asthma. In tennis, intramural stars often develop into varsity standouts. Everyone is therefore encouraged to play. Grinnell has had several nationally ranked tennis stars in past years, masters of this ancient game that brings years and years of sport and relaxation to its ardent devotees. Within walking distance of the campus, a nine-hole Grinnell Country Club course is available to all students who choose golf as a physical education activity. From golf star to high-salaried business executive, isn't that supposed to be the great American success story? Every student at Grinnell must know how to swim, along with elementary techniques of life-saving before receiving a diploma. Few events of the school year are more wholeheartedly supported than the water pageants and swimming ballet. In the present instance, it's synchronized swimming and breaststroke and waltz crawl, a streamlined study of coordinated grace and rhythm, natatorial niceties to please mankind's ceaseless urge for the loveliness of things poetic. Need we repeat, coming to see these pageants is very popular. Floating formations, egg beater variety, results of weeks of drill and coaching. And the fountain of youth that springs eternal in the college pool. Aqua bells and hilarious review. Fortunate is Grinnell in having one of the foremost authorities on water pageants as a member of its physical education staff. Most coveted honor of the entire athletic year is the Honor G Award, symbolic of highest achievement in a chosen varsity sport. Symbolic also of sportsmanship, comradeship, and loyalty. Grinnell's tradition of athletic greatness is deep-rooted and enduring. Grinnell teams have beaten larger universities as Minnesota, Iowa, and Nebraska. Members of Grinnell track squads have run and placed in four Olympics. Almost every branch of sport has received national recognition at one time or another. Today, everywhere, alumni and honor G-men unite to raise post-war athletics to the Grinnell standard. The quarterbacks club, composed of Grinnell businessmen, forms that important link between college and outside world. Interhouse basketball brings spirited rivalry every year. Intramural games also help to uncover potential talent for varsity teams that represent Grinnell in the Midwest Conference. Pioneer track teams are traditionally strong. Grinnell has specialized in dash men, quarter milers, half milers, and hurdlers in the past. Ask any Olympic or AAU official. The return of GIs in recent years has increased athletic resources. A fullback, class of 1965, no doubt. Rebuilding Grinnell, the ball has become more and more a matter of squad strength rather than individual stars. This means that plenty of material must be forthcoming and that alumni should be on the alert for likely candidates, men who are also good college material to replenish this ever-graduating roster. Intra-squad games and skirmishes help condition the men, build precision plays, and pave the way for victories against some of the toughest teams in the Midwest Conference. About Grinnell, for now interscholastic track meet attracts high school and secondary school athletes from many points. Varsity and freshman stars are on the greeting committee. You'll name the freshmen here. Coaches and competitors from scores of cities and towns meet and get better acquainted. 500 or more can be fed at one time in the dining room. Housing is provided for all. Preparation and care of the athletes is unsurpassed. For this particular meet, Fred Winter, former Grinnell all-round star, is honorary starter, along with beloved Mike Augustine, another all-time Grinnell great. And 
in the 120-yard high hurdles, it's quite a race. Grinnell Interscholastic is the first large high school meet west of the Mississippi. The record in the 100-yard dash dates back to 1914. White of Greenfield in 9-8, considerably faster than today's time, incidentally. Few events anywhere, year after year, can boast the class and style of performance seen at the Grinnell Interscholastic. An excellent program of events, expert officiating, and the best equipment appeal to athletes and coaches alike. Even the queens are happy about today's events. No expense or trouble is too great, so long as it ensures top performance, safety, and comfort for the participants in this annual track classic. The Grinnell Interscholastic is an opportunity for participants from everywhere to know better the ideals of fair play and keen competition that are the foundation for Grinnell's entire athletic program. At Grinnell Intramural and Intercollegiate Contests, teach the self-reliance that comes when there are more sports for all. Yes, Grinnell takes pride in its rich athletic past and with the combined support of its loyal alumni and new students, looks forward to an equally bright future.